Fortnite Season 2 has been off to an amazing start. Dare I say, perfect. This has been one of the greatest launches to a new Fortnite season I've seen in a really long time. So if I'm saying that now at the beginning of this video, what is up with the title? Why am I saying that there is some kind of problem with Fortnite Season 2? Oh no, Clark Trip to the dark side is clutch baiting me. I knew hanging out with Friendly Machine was a bad idea. This is terrible. Well, everybody in my video last night got clickbaited. I told them it was like the last one, 50 v 50. Wait, we missed a chest just right in the middle of the fish stick. Just, oh my, my butt! God, no. My butt! I'm dead. Man, I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I'm so fucking much. dead. I'm fucking dead. Now bear with me a little bit because at first glance it might seem like this is a little clickbaity. However, I do have a couple of small issues with Fortnite Season 2 that could potentially extrapolate into something a lot worse as the season progresses. Over the last few months we've done a lot of videos which have deep dived into what makes a really good Fortnite season. We've looked at what our favorite Fortnite seasons of all time were, what I thought the best Fortnite season of all time was, which was Chapter 2 Season 7. And if you've been on my live streams the last few months, you've been participating in discussions where we've been determining what makes objectively good Fortnite seasons. But the point of a lot of our previous videos was regardless of what you perceive to be the best Fortnite season of all time, there's going to be some traits that it shares with other seasons that are objectively good. The reason why we've had so many discussions about this is because Chapter 5 Season 1 seemed to really drag. It started off strong, but it got very boring and stale towards the middle, and then by the end of it, we were all ready for something new. Fast forward to Season 2, and it feels like Charlie Wynn watched all of our videos and said, you know what? Hold my beer. Let me show them how a good Fortnite season is done. You want peak? I'll give you peak. And it's crazy because a lot of the things that we mentioned as a community that we thought made a good Fortnite season, those were things that we got in season two. An insanely diverse loot pool, goofy overpowered items, a loot pool that caters to a variety of different play styles, making it difficult to figure out which items you want to pick up. A map that's vibrant, dynamic, has fun POIs. All these things from our list and more got added into season two. But here's the kicker and the big question that all of you are wondering about right now. If I think this season is so great, and if it's checking off a lot of the boxes that we had for what makes a great Fortnite season, what is the problem? And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I don't really have a lot of issues with this season. The few issues that I do have really come down to me nitpicking. However, the two concerns that I have could potentially end up being a big problem for Fortnite season two and chapter five in the long run. The first of which ironically is one of the things that makes this season so great, which is the updates. One week into the launch of this season and we have one of the best updates that we've had, I feel, in over a year. Do not sleep on the Midas update. It is a true return to form and how Fortnite updates used to feel back the day brand new ltm updates to the storyline new mythic item added new weapon added new normal item added with the bubble shield it's just we are given a lot of content this update and that's where the concern lies because as awesome as this update is can fortnite keep up this momentum for the rest of season two now i will say this season two has a huge advantage in that it's really short it's only going to be about two and a half months long from what we've seen from leaks we have about five major updates planned if that's true, that means we're getting an update every other week, which makes for a really fun season overall. Now, as we stated in previous videos, just because we get an update, it doesn't mean that it's going to be exciting. The updates have to change the game in some significant way. And listen, I don't want to be unrealistic or unreasonable. I don't think that we need a new mythic item every update. However, there needs to be something to at least spice up the meta. The thing that's frustrated me about Fortnite updates in the past is that we have six years worth of content that can be pulled from at any point in time and it just seems like Epic is afraid to do so. Like there's so many items that can be unvaulted to make the game more fun, and a lot of the time, you won't see any of them come back for years. I know that that sounds ungrateful because Epic does do a lot for us. Like we do get a lot of content. However, I think with season one, the emphasis on the content was in all the other modes kind of spread out as opposed to filling the BR with a bunch of really cool updates. And once again, I don't think that's gonna be a problem as much this season. Like we know we have the Avatar The Last Airbender update coming out in about two weeks. In between that, this coming Tuesday, we're scheduled to get another update. I think my concern with good updates is more of a concern for chapter five as a whole. Like I'm not sure how this is gonna look moving forward into the summer as well as the fall or winter time. We'll just have to wait and see what happens there. But my biggest concern really comes down to the community and more specifically how the community can prevent itself from getting really good updates. The amount of people that I heard complaining about Zeus's mythic lightning bolt seems a little excessive to me. For so many people to come out of the woodwork and say that this is the most broken item that we've ever had added to Fortnite, you clearly have not played the glory days of OG or even in season two or even some of the stuff that we've had in season three. Out of all the items that we've had given to us, this isn't even in the top five list of most broken. And it's so weird because last season, everyone, including myself, were complaining about how there were a lack of goofy items within the loot pool, how there felt like there was a lack 
lack of diversity in the loot pool. Then Epic Games comes out and gives us a stacked loot pool. I have to say, this is probably one of the most exciting and diverse loot pools we've had in a long time, and everyone's upset with it. I think that's one area where the community needs to grow up somewhat, which is that even if I don't like an item, that doesn't mean that it should necessarily be removed. Like, even when I was complaining about the cardboard box, it wasn't so much that I wanted the item removed, it was just somewhat disappointing that we didn't get anything that was more useful than that. Like, there's not really a whole lot that you could do with that item in game. Now, do I understand people's frustration with getting killed by the lightning bolt? Sure, I've been killed with it a few times. Is it fun? No, it's never fun to die in Fortnite, but do I want the item removed because I'm having a difficult time with it or because I've been killed by it a handful of times? Also, no. And that comes to the main point when examining this item is that the only time it's a problem is either in early game or when you're getting third party. If you're low on health early game, you're trying to run around and find a weapon and somebody zaps you with a lightning bolt, yeah, you're probably dead. If you're in the middle of an intense battle, whether it be in builds or zero builds, and somebody is throwing lightning at you from 50 meters away or 300 meters away, you're probably gonna be dead if you're low on HP. But as I said in previous videos and in comment sections, that's not exclusive to the lightning bolt. If I get hit with a sniper in a third party, I'm probably going to die. Any long range weapon is going to give you issues in a third party. Welcome to competitive games. This is how it works out. And listen, I understand it can be very frustrating to have to deal with an entire season with an item that you don't like. I've even made my complaints about particular weapons. Like I am still not happy with the shotgun meta. I think that this is probably one of the worst shotgun metas we've ever had. But I think there's a difference between completely wanting something removed or just improving upon something. Like if they improve the damage on the new pump shotgun, I wouldn't have a problem with it. There are small tweaks and adjustments that need to be made over the course of a season or even a chapter, and we just kind of have to accept what the meta is. But even at its worst, I still think you can have fun playing this game and I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here because I've said this multiple times. Last season when I felt like the meta was starting to drag, I still had a lot of fun playing with my friends. I hated the riot shield but I found fun with the business turret. I'm still not a big fan of the shotguns but I'm trying to figure out how to position myself better to win more fights based upon how these weapons fire. But the biggest point that I'm trying to get across here in this video is that we as a community do not want to complain so much that Epic decides not to have any fun items at all in Fortnite. Now listen, I don't think it'll ever be a case where there's nothing fun or goofy in the loot pool, but we could have another season like season one where there's just a severe lack of those items. Outside of those two minor issues, I think Fortnite season two is gonna be really good. The storyline is really fun right now, and this is the first loot pool in a while where I've looked at all the weapons that are on the ground, and I'm like, I really don't know which one I want. I'm also happy that they reworked the medallion system, that they're not all just siphon mechanics, that each one does something a little bit different. And look, as much as I'm gushing over the BR, there's a lot of other stuff to get excited about this season. Epic just announced a bunch of improvements with UEFN and Creative 2.0. I haven't done the research to see what all of the changes are or what's to come in the future, but I wanna do that this Monday with all of you guys live on stream so if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel that way you can be notified when monday stream goes live and i think that'll also be the video that we have for saturday of next week but until then why don't you go ahead check out this video on screen here and i'll catch you guys on monday love y'all peace out